Hi YouTube, this is Zaz here on another last Claudia video. Now as you all should already know that Global is almost caught up with JP in terms of schedule is concerned, but right before that something happened. I was reincarnated into a slime. Yes, that's right. Slime collaboration just dropped in JP today and we should be getting it soon, possibly in two weeks time. We will be getting two units and two arcs. One unit and arc will be released in the week apart. And the first unit and arc is Rimiru and his dragon Veldora. Before we move on to take a closer look at them, I have an announcement to make. Coming this July, I'll be doing a giveaway contest on my stream. Prizes include a LC goodie bag, Google and Apple gift cards. Now stay tuned for that as I'll make another video on it. Links in the description down below. Now on with Rimiru. Rimiru Tempest. Creature unit. Really good int. No elemental weakness with Curse being his only ailment weakness. So far, I do not have any more information or skills yet, but we can see skill 1 is an attack in a line with a pretty quick cast. Now skill 2 seems to have a short cast time. I don't like that. Uh, skill 3 pushes enemies away from him and seem to stay in that position for a while. So good thing is that they don't get blown high into the sky, right? Like Sevilla's third skill. Which means it's easier to lock enemies in the corner or even uh, your other units can continue hitting them. Now his ultimate predator uh, might be a whole map AOE. And it gives him a 60 MP regen. Really cool self-sustain there. Moving on to his traits. His first trait being analysis and appraisal. Unfortunately, I do not know what they mean by certain conditions. However, as you can see, it increases a bunch of things. And the most important thing that you guys would like is the spell damage cap. Now I would like to know how much that one does. Now the second trait is Great Sage. Understood. Switching over to autopilot mode. It's time to see what Great Sage is capable of. Now really nice 25% spell damage and also increases cast speed. The deal with the second part is being on full auto. I know that it sings well the anime and all, but the whole fight on full auto? Really? Thankfully it's only a 10% increase. Well, it's not like Great Sage in the show is that powerful in anime, right? I mean... It almost caused Rimiru to lose against the Orc disaster. An emergency has arisen. I'll take over. Uh. It's nothing personal. In fact, it's because of you that I decided to pull from Rimiru. So, just leave the rest of this video to me. Partner. Now let's take a look at his spells and passives. Mm-hmm. Covers all elements except dark with a brand new ice spell and also a godlier god heal. Two new skills here, magic sense, probably similar to the skill conversation but it's in MP and my true strength adds another 15% uh, damage to elemental attacks, possibly like an uh, all elemental attack raise, you know. Let's quickly move on to the event weapons we can get. Now these weapons uh, comes along with uh, the event points from his event so be sure to collect them all now there is a paid step up and uh, let's look at his paid gear so Rimiru's sword right now this fire sword makes him not only a magic caster but comboing with his skill usage will optimize his damage his clothes reduces attack magic cost and gives him SCT when he casts them so it seems to make him really fun to play with if you have them. And that is for Rimiru as a unit. I'm liking what I see. He seems to be a version 2 of Popoy, having a wide range of elements. I can see that he will do pretty well in tower. 
I got a feeling that his skills will be STR based plus percentage int. Now the paid gear seems to open up a huge chunk of his potential, but then again, none of them actually adds to his int. Uh, not that he needs more, haha. <laughs> Wait, what am I saying? Maybe I can feed all my units to his predator skill. Now last but not least, we have this arc, Storm Dragon Valdora. Now the traits at maximum level is, at the start of battle, it will apply a skill called Bracer to all enemies, and his spells, uh, I'll give you my name, which is uh, a skill that you can learn with this arc, uh, increases the stat up effect to 15%, I'm guessing it's to 15%. Now it also has an all elemental attack damage increase by 10%, which uh, synchronizes with his uh, overall kit. The skills that you can teach with the arc, uh, firstly is Breaker, attack up 4, which adds 12% uh, uh, attack, uh, STR, sorry, and also Chance Drive, which increases the damage when you do in Break. And uh, the, three, the next three skills are the new ones, I'll give you my name, which will sacrifice 50% of health, which I don't know is maximum HP or is it 50% of your current HP, but we gotta test it out. So uh, target ally gets 10% to all stats, uh, does not work on self. And the next skill is uh, Light Brave, lower, the lower the unit's HP, the higher its STR. And the last skill adds the Dragon type, giving 10% giving STR and reduces physical damage. Now I give you my name, okay no, wait, don't take my name. So that one can actually be a decent buff uh, for your support units. Uh, to equip on your support units. However, there's a risk involved in, in uh, casting it with 50% uh, HP down. And a uh, Light Brave could be a better version of Fury for your DPS. And of course, the last one, I think it costs a little bit high, 10 SC. Uh, but if in the future there is other Dragon synergies, this might come good. Now one more thing about this collab is that there is going to be a new tour or expedition, some of you guys call it, which are uh, there are quests to complete, so there's more rewards over there. Now stay tuned for the next week's Milim video, and also if you have found this video useful, do let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications to catch the latest videos. I would like to thank those from Discord who have always contributed with the latest infos and knowledge. Now this concludes part 1 of this collab, but before I go, don't forget about my giveaway in July. This is Zaz here, and I'm signing out.